Hi, today I wanted to show you uh, just some of the ideas of these figures in, in, in this material and some variations and that uh, you don't really have to worry too much I mean they will break, any figure is going to break but they're pretty darn durable. For instance this one by Stefan May um, it's like a games workshop kind of style real chunky heavily uh, heavy figure, heavy undercuts and here's a sword you can probably see and hear how hard I'm flicking that and it's not breaking um, the good thing about this material is it's pretty heat resistant as well and you put it in the oven at least at least uh, 190 degrees Fahrenheit without any problem usually what I do if I want to bend something is I put it in there about 180 degrees I guess Fahrenheit and it'll kinda soften thinner parts like maybe these tongs the sword stuff like that and then I'll bend it into new positions this figure sculpted by Kevin White I uh, actually mailed in an envelope to a friend of mine and um, just as it is made it through the post office in an envelope um, I think that's pretty well says you know how good it is Oops. this is an old figure I bought from both of these were purchased from Mega Minis um, I can't I'm not sh familiar with the uh, sculptor's name but here's again a this sword's actually thinner this was a miscast from the original batch and you can see here I bent that back once bent that back twice three times four times to snap that sword off so you're not gonna have to worry about say dropping this figure and breaking if they do break they tend to break as you saw how hard I pushed on that they tend to snap on say like uh, seams like any other type of figure and that's where they're gonna break and this breaks so cleanly that you can glue it right back and you can't even hardly see the line here's the goblin you can see how thin the spear is you know it's pretty small it broke it the same took quite a bit of pressure from my finger see it takes quite a bit to break this so I mean they're well worth I think gaming this thing here it's big chunky Andrew uh, May sculpted it, same with the goblin. Never gonna break this thing. Same thing with this. It's uh Tom Box sculpted this figure. You're not gonna break it. Nice and chunky, nice and solid, easily to game with, drop it, not gonna have to worry. Uh Defiance Games Bug. A lot of people are complaining about these things. Here you can see I've got mine set up on two legs on the base hold it from the base shake it around it's not gonna come loose not gonna break and uh, here's a couple of the the what you might call it the uh, arms care of me flicking that I mean, I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on it flick them back and forth they're not gonna break um, it's pretty durable stuff that's why I, I uh, Settled for not being able to recycle any of this. The waste is so low, and and the strength. Oh man, that hurt. The strength you get. For try, trying to break that. The strength you get is just phenomenal. Uh, it's not worth it. I'll grab one more goblin miscast out of here, out of my batch, just so you can see. These are the miscasts. Um, and actually, this isn't even. These goblins aren't the final mix. Um, but you can see I'm bending that spear way out here just flicks back if you dropped him with that little spear it's not gonna break off had to look for him 
So say you're gaming with this guy, and and uh, he fell off the table. You know, not gonna break. He's on the on the desk. You know, dropping him around. Let's see if I can drop him on the spear. Not gonna break that spear off. Dropping this figure on onto anything. You're gonna have to try to try to break break these things. I mean, you really do. Here you can see I'm bending it quite a ways. I mean, you literally have to bend it a long, long, multiple, multiple times before that'll snap off. There you go. And uh, I hope that kind of helps people realize a little more. As you can see how thin that spear is. I believe it's less than a millimeter. Um, compare it to like this. It's pretty darn fine. I actually had a hard time casting that spear in metal. It's, what, a third of that sword? And that, that's a pretty darn small figure compared to, say, a Games Workshop style figure, which is real chunky. Um, that might give you an idea of uh, scale. I'll grab a ruler. Just kind of lay it here. One last thing. Here's millimeters. Flip it around. We'll do inches. Heck with it. It's going to be easier for for some of us. So where it's standing in here in inches, standing in here in inches. So the Games Workshop figure style is about an inch and a half. Kevin White, quite a bit smaller, and then uh, in millimeters. You're looking at this figure being oops, definitely over 30, and this figure being right at 30 millimeters. And then the spear itself is a millimeter thick. So for it to take that and a millimeter thick, I think that's a pretty good example. Um, and the bug assembled on the base is approximately 30 millimeters thick and then the goblin being really small and you saw how rough I was with those this guy's big and chunky he's over 40 millimeters this thing's huge um, 80 millimeters and I sell these for ten a piece already, so I think I've got some pretty reasonable prices on our stuff. And then these figures were sold to me as twenty-five millimeter figures, um, but you can see they're nowhere near twenty-five millimeter. And and I'm not sure how or why people are coming up with the measurements they do on. Uh, figure scale because this one's I guess they're going by eyes at 25 millimeters this one could be 25 millimeters at the eyes but to me this is a 28 millimeter 32 millimeter uh, games workshop style figure I mean that they fit they fit same scale anyway I hope this helps a little bit kinda throwing these things around you can see that you're not gonna have to worry about them so much breaking apart anything like that um, they're pretty solid so I just hope everybody enjoys it and there's a close up of uh, the charity figure close-up of this figure by Tom Box. couple little vent holes 
right there. That's the worst that's ever going to be seen on anything. And you got to really look for it. <clears throat> Stefan May. The detail on the hat and the helmet. Clothing. This will pick in, any imperfection up if it's something like, for instance, on a uh, green. It will it will get them. And uh, I thought that was an imperfection at first, but that's actually a split in the boot. Things like that. Sometimes I have a hard time telling what's what myself. <clears throat> I don't know when casting them. This one's more of a of a surface detailed figure than an actual um, like undercuts and things like that. I I these two to me. Ow, man, this stuff sharp. Just cut up, cut myself. Um, these two to me are completely different in style. They're both one's heavily undercutted with a lot of detail and the other is a lot of surface detail. Um, this figure is dynamic anatomy. He changes the planes on a lot of the parts but it's it's a rather simple figure. It's, I guess you'd say an elegant figure. Here and here's a big, thick, just chunky figure. Picks up everything. Real chunky figure. You can hear it when it hits. And then this is a many, many, many parted figure. Um, there are a lot of pieces to this thing. And again, you can see here are the bases that, that will be in the box. And him standing on two legs. And I dropped him on the table. And he didn't bust apart two legs. Uh, and again, here's one of the miscasts. See those little bubbles? This was the rejects. That's why I broke these, broke these apart. Busting them up. There's another one, a little bubble there, a little bit of a bubble there. And this was the first batch of, uh, or the last ones left actually. And uh, a good example to try to break. <clears throat> you can hear when they pop how much pressure it takes to like snap that horn off. But I, uh, again, I hope this helps them. Thank you.